Hello, good evening, and welcome to Paulding High School, where tonight on WOSN, we've got a sectional semi-final matchup for you between the sixth-seeded sixth seated Shawnee Indians and the fifth-seeded Wapakoneta Redskins. I'm Garrett C. Wright, joined alongside Scoop Miller. We've got all the action for you this evening. And Scoop, 10 and 12 Shawnee, 12 and 10 Wapak. Uh, when they played earlier in the season, a game that went to overtime, the Wapak was able to squeak out 56-54. A pair of evenly matched squads when you look at sizes and scores and things like that. These are two squads that are familiar with one another, but also match up pretty well with one another. They really do, and it's Wapak's going to find out tonight how difficult it can be to beat a good team two times during the season. And certainly uh, Lima Shawnee, a team that's made some good tournament runs here in recent years, yep. would love to uh, turn the tables, get a little revenge here tonight. We're going to take a look now at the starting lineups. First for the visitors on the scoreboard, the Shawnee Indians, as I mentioned, 10 and 12 on the season, 4 and 5 in the Western Buckeye League. Their head coach is Mark Triplett. They're coming off a win over Elina last Friday night. Their first starting five looks like this. Will McBride is a six foot senior guard, number zero, an honorable mention, all Western Buckeye League performer. 12 points per contest for McBride. Dominic Lynch is a six foot junior guard. He wears number four. Toby Freiberger averages nearly five assists tonight for the Indians. A six-foot senior guard, Freiberger wears number five. Austin Miller, a six-foot four senior forward, all-Western Buckeye League second team for number 12. 14 points and five rebounds tonight for Austin Miller. And Beckett Berkey will round out the starting five for the Indians. A six-foot three freshman forward was a third-team all-Western Buckeye League performer at 11 and a half points and four rebounds per contest. Beckett Berkey wears number 23. For the Wampak Redskins, Trey Elkert is their head coach. 12 and 10 on the season for the number five Redskins. Zach Niekamp is the first starter for Wampak, a six foot junior guard. He was also a third team All Western Buckeye League performer. 13 points, three rebounds, and two assists tonight for number three. Nate Metzger wears number five. The six foot one junior forward chips in four points and five rebounds per contest. Jackson Corder averages 10 points. For the 6'5 senior forward, honorable mention all Western Buckeye League for number 14. Cass Shadle is a six foot one junior guard, seven points for number 20. And number 30, and he'll be motioning towards the tip off circle, is Deacon Redderer, a six foot seven senior center, four rebounds, four points a contest for number 30. So we are set to tip here between the 10 and 12 Indians and the 12 and 10 Redskins. The ball is up and a tip off is won. My Wapak, unconventionally won by Wapak. So they'll begin with the basketball. Ball nearly stolen away as it was poked out of bounds by Toby Freiberger. So the Redskins turn it over on their first possession, and Shawnee will have the basketball. Play just a little more than 10 seconds. Freiberger across the timeline. McBride at the right wing. Bounces to Miller. Dominic Lynch gives right back to Berkey. Miller, the free throw line, got in the air, gives back to Freiberger, plenty of time to set up for three, and he splashes it home. Uh, great look there by the senior Freiberger. He's able to catch and shoot in rhythm. Uh, excellent start here for the Indians. Great set, great patience. Jackson Quarter spins in a lane, hangs off the glass and drops it home. A fancy move from the 6'5 senior. Well, you can see why he's scoring double digits a game. He's got such a tough uh, shot to uh, alter. He gets up so high, he's got that nice release. Great soft touch off the window. Lynch holds, puts it on the deck, gives to Bird King. Miller on the right wing. He'll rise and fire for three. Off the front iron, rebound. Comes down and a foul committed by Shawnee, the first for either squad. So the Cook and Sun plumbing and heating three-pointer the difference in the game so far in this early going is Toby Freiberger got the Indians on the board. Make it 3-2 after the quarter jumper. Jackson quarter across the timeline, angles to the near sideline. Bounces to Niekamp on the left wing. He'll hold Metzger with the basketball at his waist. Gives right back to quarter. Redderer posted up in the lane. They fire it to him. Couldn't corral the pass. And it's stolen away by Dominic Lynch. Beckett Berkey on the left wing. Gives to Freiberger, back out to Burke. Thought about the triple try, spins in the lane, scoop shot, can't hit. Back at Burke. Will go to the line for 
two Allen Davis insurance free throws, I believe. He will. Yeah, great job by the freshman. Again, another guy comes in averaging nearly 12 points a game, but uh, he's also the lead field goal shooter, so you feel good anytime he's taking the ball to the rack, and there he connects on the first of two from the charity stripe. Our free throws tonight brought to you by Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider specializing in auto home business insurance and more. Can't hit the second. Score remains 4-2. The Redskins bring the ball back down the floor. Metzger up the near sideline. Stripped. Ball's loose. And they'll say a foul committed by Zach Niekamp. I'm, nope. Are they just going to say basketball goes to Sean Ian? Yeah, that time Niekamp had a foot out of bounds when he touched the basketball. So the ball will belong to the Indians. Chance to uh, stretch this early lead. Approaching two minutes gone in his first quarter. McBride holds on the right wing, gives to Berkey, slings it left. Austin Miller crosses over straight to the rack, off the glass, an easy bucket for the 6'4 senior. A big time move by the big man there. He's got such a quick uh, first step. He also has that quick crossover dribble. He's a tough guard at 6'4 when you can shoot it and take it to the rack with authority like we saw right there. Get a foul committed by Beckett Berkey down low for Sean E. That's his first. So the Redskins will inbound right of their basket. 5.44 to go. Inbound a quarter. Thought about the three-pointer instead. Cash Shadle hands off to Metzger on the right wing. Into the near corner. He'll bounce back to quarter at the high left point. Crosses over. Metzger. Backs back out. Niekamp comes off a screen on the right way. Tightly guarded. Kicks. Shadel thought about the three instead. Niekamp gets it right back to Shadel. Double teamed in a tough spot. Niekamp deep three. Left it short. Miller the rebound. Sprints up the floor behind a back dribble. Leaves it off for McBride through his arms and out of play. Well, that's a big break right there for the Redskins. At that time, Miller was out in transition. We just talked about what a tough guard he is, and that time maybe a little bit too unselfish, and that's one he'd like to have back. Uh, he's awfully good at finishing around the rim. And that's a huge break there for the Redskins. So they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. A little zone defense employed by the Indians. And the Redskins will try to skip over top of it. Quarter bounces in the high post to Metzger. Kicks near corner. Three for Shadle. No. Miller climbs the ladder, gets the board. Freiberger up the far sideline. Bounces. Berkey kicks back out to Freiberger. I down cooking Sun three for just a moment. And now we'll hold between the circles with 4.30 to go. Miller. Berkey guarded by Redderer. Baseline in the lane. Dominic Lynch leaves off for Freiberger. Couldn't hit that cooking son three. And Metzger comes down with a rebound. Sprint straight to the low post. Spins off the window. No. Ball still loose. Dominic Lynch comes out with it. Indians want to run. Berkey, left wing. Gives to Freiberger straight away. Into that far corner to Miller. Freiberger with his heels nearly on the center circle. Gives to McBride. Under four minutes gone. Over four minutes gone, I beg your pardon. 6-2. Freiberger. McBride. Berkey gives it right back to McBride. Patient offensive possession here for Shawnee. As so we come close to 3.30 to go. Miller, top of the key. Tight man-to-man -man defense being played by the Wapak Redskins. As Berkey. Isolated. Stripped by quarter. Ball's on the deck. Quarter scoops it up, and they'll go call him for the travel. Yeah, that's an excellent call right there. Good hustle play by Jackson Quarter, but once you roll over, when you have the basketball on the floor, that's an automatic travel. So excellent officiating right now, and uh, Shawnee will get an extra shot at it here, up by four. Indians, patient. McBride backs back out. Heels on the center circle, throws right to Berkey. Tightly guarded up by Logan Crow in the game for the first time for Wapak. Caleb Moyer in as well. Miller down the right side of the lane, can't hit. Rebound secured by Logan Crow of Wapak. 
Redskins looking for a bucket. Hit one on their first possession, haven't scored since. As Jackson Quarter stands inside the center circle with 2.45 to go in the quarter. Lee's famous recipe scoreboard says 6-2. Indians with the advantage. Moyer gives right to Niedkamp. He'll direct the traffic. Gets down low. Metzger, and he's called for the charge. Well, credit to uh, Lima Shawnee. Their half-court man-to-man has been tenacious. They've been locked in all night long, did a great job of keeping the ball out of the paint. And that time they do a great job protecting the paint. They draw the charge. 6-2 the score, 225. Remains in the first quarter. McBride, and then quarters called for a foul coming back the other way. He just went through the chest of a defender, or I guess of the screener. And so quickly, Wapak has picked up three fouls. Yeah, that's an aggressive foul trying to fight through a screen. McBride inbounds. Indians get it right back to him at the near corner. Freiberger. Austin Miller, the 6'4 senior holds. Bounces back to Freiberger. Shawnee. Works it around a perimeter. Miller on a right wing. In the lane, kicks back out to Freiberger. Another three on the way. Toby Freiberger, a pair of Cook and Son three-pointers. Cook and Son plumbing and heating, specializing in old-time service since 1978. Find them on Facebook or call 419-738-8956. And the lead is seven for the Indians. Yeah, big-time possession right there. Miller with the drive and the kick. Freiberger delivers again. Knee camp bounces. Crow, quarter will rise and fire for three off the heel. And the score remains 9-2 with under 90 seconds to go here in this first quarter. McBride tries to turn the corner off the window and drops it in. Wow, what a move there by Will McBride. That time he had no place to go. Looked like they got a piece of the basketball, but he had the strength and athleticism to get it up in off the glass. So right now, largest lead of the night here for Shawnee. 11-2, I beg your pardon. Get it down low. Quarter in the lane. Turnaround jumper. No. Miller the rebound. Splits a double team. And a foul committed by Logan Crow in the backcourt. Uh, another great play by Miller. This time on the defensive end. He was able to get a piece of the basketball. And then not only gets the rebound, but alertly looks to attack and transition. Again, putting pressure on that Wapakoneta defense. And that forces the fourth team foul on the Redskins. So right now, an excellent start here for Lima Shawnee, trying to stretch it here in the final 56.7 of this opening quarter. 11-2, Indians with the advantage in the basketball, looking to grow that lead under a minute to go. In this first quarter, Keegan Wilson, Freiberger, another three, and he is feeling it. Toby Freiberger, three, Cook and Son, three-pointers in this first quarter, and it's a 12-point advantage for the Indians. Well, you have to love it. you got a guy at the hot hand, so give him the basketball, and that time uh, Freiberger delivers one more time. So what a start here by Shawnee. You want to close it out on a great defense possession here as we hit the 22nd mark of the opening eight minutes. A. Metzger on the left wing, dribbles to the free throw line, picks it up, gets down low to Moyer, back to the basket into that far corner. Metzger right wing. Niekamp, 10, remains in the first quarter. Errant pass turned over by the Redskins, and Shawnee will have the basketball with six and a half to go in this first quarter. You just can't say enough about that uh, Shawnee defense. Uh, not only getting ball pressure, but doing an excellent job of once the dribble's picked up, getting in the passing lanes, playing physical, they force another Redskin turnover. They'll roll it up near the volleyball line, Freiberger. Wants the basketball himself. Three, Miller for good if it goes, and he's called for the travel. Dropped it home, but would have made it 17-2 to two in this opening quarter. Instead, he's called for the travel. Yeah, that time Wapak uh, doubled out on Freiberger, who had those three threes, left Miller alone, but he went with too much of a gather step, gets called for the travel. Moyer, good if it goes, just shy of the hole of the hoop. And we played one, 14 to two. Shawnee comes out with a fury here on WOSN.
Our instant replays tonight provided by Road State College, a two-year state college offering affordable in-person and online associate's degrees and certificate programs. 14-2. to That first quarter could not have gone better for the Shawnee Indians. Yeah, fantastic start for Coach Mark Triplett's uh, squad came out, got it done on both ends. Very patient, very selective on offense, but their defense was just stellar. They gave up that only two points on the first possession yeah. for Wapakoneta in the last seven minutes. They uh, were able to hold them to a goose egg. Austin Miller spins in the lane. And a travel. His second consecutive travel. Sean Ife, if I don't like it. Now that was excellent uh, defense by Wapakoneta. You know, that time, Miller, who's a tough guard there, when he gets on the open floor, they did a great job of, of coming in, helping, trying to reroute there, playing physical inside. They forced the turnover, and now the Redskins will get a chance to uh, maybe score here, sparked by that uh, defense that forced a Shawnee turnover. Caleb Moyer between the circles. Drives, had it poked from behind. Freiberger's on the deck for it. He's able to get the Mets for financial services timeout. We'll take it with him. 7.27 to go here in this second quarter on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Out of the timeout, Indians get the basketball. Keegan Wilson on the right wing, holds it below his knees. Back at Berkey, left side, in the lane, strip, but it goes right to Austin Miller. He'll kiss it off the window. Now, once again, Shawnee really attacking the rim, playing downhill, and that time kind of fortunate the ball fell in the right hands. And Miller, once he gets it that deep, boy, he's going to be a tough guard. And now the lead has swelled to 14 here. Metzger with his back to the basket, lobs back to Shadel in the near corner. Gets back to Metzger, left wing. He'll hold. Guarded by Freiberger. Redderer posting up. Instead, he'll give it to Moyer, top of the key. Metzger, baseline, spins back towards the middle of the floor, can't hit, rebound, comes down to Redderer, off the window, and a 6'7 senior puts it off the glass. Uh, great job by Redderer, staying with it, uh, getting the second chance points, and that dry, that stops an eight-minute dry spell from Wapakoneta. 16-4 as Berkey gets it at the top of the key, back to Miller right wing. Picked up the dribble, back to Berkey. Nick Pass shown in the ball game for Shawnee. Miller will let one fly, and he drops in a cooking sun three. Now, yeah, string music that time for Austin Miller. He now has seven points, but everything going uh, well right now for Shawnee. But it's really started at the defensive end where they've been so solid, not allowing uh, many easy looks here by the Redskins. Jackson Quarter drives to the left elbow, gives back to Metzger. He'll float one from the high post, can't hit. Rebound grabbed by Berkey. Long outlet pass up ahead to pass shown off of his fingertips and out of play. Tonight's premier sponsor, Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer. Serving Lima for over 100 years, we are proud to call this home. 19 to 4, the lead is 15 for the Indians. Wapak trying to chip away at it, forcing that turnover there. His rhetoric gets it at the left elbow. Bounces to Metzger on the other side. Quarter off the screen all day to set up for three, and he splashes in a cooking sun three. Well, great execution that time by the Redskins in the half court as quarter's able to come off the screen there, square up, catch and shoot rhythm. Miller, three on the way for Bertke, tries to get one of his own, can't, swirls out, knee camp the board, and he'll race up the middle of the floor. Knee camp, cast Shadow on the right wing, crosses over. Picks up the dribble, Metzger, right side of the lane, double teamed, tipped, stolen away by Dominic Lynch. Freiberger right side, hands off, Lynch right down the right side of the lane, can't hit, Redderer the rebound. Quarter, working on Freiberger at the free throw line, it gives to Niekamp, spins, floaters, got it. First bucket for Zach Niekamp. And the lead is down to 10. A uh, sweet move by Kneecamp, who comes in, scoring nearly 14 points a game. And uh, 
First hoop of the night for the junior. 19 to 9. Redskins trying to employ their defense to get a stop. McBride, Freiberger for three. Can't hit that one. And a rebound grabbed by Shadel. Spins out of a tight spot. And the Redskins have a little bit of momentum here. Quarter right wing. Free throw line. Went to spin. Got it poked. Instead, Shadel has it in the far corner. Tries to dribble around Lynch. Can't. And with under four to go here in this first half, it's 19 to 9. Redskins looking to continue to chip away at it. Redderer holds, gives to Quarter on the left wing. Quarter for three. He's got another Cook and Son three pointer. Well, great execution. They run the old baseline uh, half court set. Very patient with it. When uh, Quarter's man uh, slipped a little bit, he took advantage with the deep three ball. Indians looking for a bucket of their own. Lynch right side of the lane, picks it up, bounces. Back to Burt Key, and Austin Miller holds on the left side. He'll put up a three of his own. Got it. Austin Miller with an answer and a Metzger Financial Services timeout. Called by the Shawnee Indians. We'll step aside as well. The lead is 10 for Shawnee here on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Been a bit of dueling three-pointers here as Wapak was able to climb back, and then Shawnee hits one of their own to grow the lead back to 10 at 22-12. Yeah, that was a big one by Austin Miller, the 6'4 junior, in an 8 run by Wapakoneta. Metzger between the circles. Under three, lobs to Redderer in the lane, flows it up and in. That's a nice bucket there by Deacon Redderer. Averages four, has four here in this first half. It really was, and credit Nate Metzger uh, for finding him uh, slipping all alone there on that flex offense. Freiberger tries to get it to Burtke. Floater off the heel, no. Out of play off the Indians. Now right now, the Redskins playing uh, awfully uh, enthused on the defensive end. They've done a nice job of, of trying to establish the board, something I thought that Shawnee did an excellent job in opening eight minutes. But now the Redskins uh, have a little momentum here, playing with a lot of life here, trying to uh, cut into that eight-point deficit. Shawnee switches up to 1-2-2 two, two, half-court pressure. Redskins trailed 14-2 after one. Metzger, right elbow. Shadle thought about the three. Metzger cross court pass to Quarter, looking for his third three. Got it. Jackson Quarter is hot with another Cook and Son three. And once again, Metzger, uh, who leads the team with nearly four assists per contest, picks up another one there. Cook and Son plumbing and heating, specializing in old time service since 1978. Find him on Facebook or call 419 738 8956. Shot from Miller. Off the mark, and the lead is five. The Redskins can trim it even more with the basketball here. 140 remains in this first half, 22-17 on the least famous recipe scoreboard. He'll bounce to Redderer, left wing, bounces to Metzger. He'll hold, quarter, off the screen, holds. Knee camp, top of the key, right down Main Street, scoop shot, no, ball out of play. They'll say it went off a of Redskin. Yeah, great job once again by the Indians. They switch back to a very aggressive man-to-man -man defense and just trying to make things tough, especially for Zach Niekamp, who has the knack for able to uh, break down man-to-man -man defense. At that time, they force a tough shot. McBride gives to Miller. Indians working around a perimeter. Miller has it right back, right wing. He'll rise and fire for three. Short, Niekamp for board. Picks it up and gives the quarter. One minute to go in this second quarter. 22-17. Quarter picked up the dribble, has to get rid of it. Bounces to Metzger. He'll stand just left of the center circle as the clock continues to tick. Metzger, content to watch those numbers fall off the scoreboard. 
trailing by five. Quarter, the handoff, and it's an over and back violation. Oh, that's a tough break. They had a chance to make this a uh, one possession game. Plus, they're going to get the basketball start the third quarter. And now a big possession right here for Shawnee, trying to seize some momentum as uh, Wapakoneta has outscored them 13 to three here in the last four plus minutes. The only three points at long three from Austin Miller. Miller has it at the high left point. 20 seconds in the quarter. Berkey back to Freiberger, who's hit a couple of cooking sun three-pointers. Berkey gives back to Miller. Right side, 10. Berkey for three. No. Metzger the rebound with 10. He'll race up the floor. Nate Metzger got a little out in front of him. And it's stolen away to Miller. D3, good if it goes. No. And that'll do it for the first half of play. 22-17. Redskins held to two in the first quarter, 15 in the second. They trail by five. We'll take a we'll step aside after this Metzger Financial Services timeout. Come back with third quarter action in the sectional semifinal here on WOSN. Instant replays tonight provided by Road State College, a two-year state college offering affordable in-person and online associate degrees and certificate programs. Third quarter about to get underway, 22-17. Shawnee with the lead. Wapak will begin with the basketball. I'm Garrett Seawright joined alongside Scoop Miller. And after the first quarter went about as poorly as it could have gone for the Redskins, a Big-time second quarter for Trey Elkert's squad. Yeah, just what they needed, outscoring uh, Shawnee 15-8 there in that second eight minutes to get themselves uh, right back in the thick of things. This is more what we expected, Garrett, coming yeah. in. You know, Wapak uh, coming in, won seven or last nine, and only two losses at Kaleida, at Defiance. And of course, Shawnee's won three of the last five. Their only losses to a very good Wayne Trace team on the road and also at Kaleida as well. Indian Redskins begin with the basketball. Metzger. Right side, Shadel will put up a three off the mark. Deacon Redderer, the offensive rebound, put back. Now what a hustle play by Redder there on the back side, something that really eluded the Redskins the entire first half. Just not a lot of second chance points to be had, but that's a big one there by Redderer. They pick up where they left off. Austin Miller hangs and hits in response. He's got 12 points and grows the lane back out to five. Now you can see why he was second team uh, all WBL this uh, past season. Remember, he was not at that game at Wapakoneta, that two-point loss by the Indians. But he's made his presence felt uh, here tonight. And he has. Knee camp off a screen, bounces to quarter, and a foul assessed to Shawnee. I think they're going to get Miller on that one, kind of reaching from behind. That'll be his first foul, the team's first here. So the Redskins inbound a quarter in the far corner. Redderer. Gets it right back to Shadow. Knee camp. Inside the three-point line. Back to quarter. Free throw line. Shadow looks to bounce to Metzger. Does. Back to the basket. Right block. In the lane. Kicks to quarter. Free throw line. Holds. Hands to knee camp for three. No. And a rebound. Secured by Beckett Berkey. Dominic Lynch bounces to Berkey. 6.30 to go in the third. Five-point lead for the Indians. McBride right wing on his left hip. Gives to ne Miller. Berkey. Left side holds. Gives off to Lynch. Indians trying to jumble up that red skin D. Freiberger. Berkey. McBride in that far corner. Slings to Miller at the top of the key. Patient offensive possession here for Shawnee. Six minutes to go in the third. Bertke, eyeing that rim for just a moment. Lynch at the top of the key, backs back out and gives to Bertke at the high left point. 24-19 the score. Indians lead by five, content to watch the numbers take off the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Miller to the window. Lost it. Kept in play. The Indian faithful thought it was dribbled on the baseline. Instead, the Redskins come back the other way. Quarter floats one in, and the lead 
has shrunk to three. A uh, great take there by Jackson Porter, but it was all predicated by that defensive play by Net Nate Metzger that got the strip from Austin Miller. Miller tries to fire one to Lynch, does after he got in the air. In a tough spot, Lynch tries to throw it out of bounds off of Metzger and does. Tonight's high school basketball game brought to you in part by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area. Been serving Lima for over 100 years. They're proud to call this home. Indians looking to get it in. Into Miller. He goes up, fouled. It's the first foul committed by Wapak here in the quarter. Goes against Jackson Quarter. And once again, Austin Miller showing why he's such a tough matchup. The fact that he has that length, he has that shooting ability, but he also can take you off the dribble. There he connects on the first to two from the stripe. Free throws tonight brought to you by Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider specializing in auto, home, business insurance, and more. Second one off the mark, but the offensive rebound to Lynch. Freiberger, top of the key. Hangs, hits. Wow, what a finish there by Toby Freiberger. And again, a credit to the hustle there. From Shawnee, they get that offensive rebound that extends the possession, and then they cash in, gets the lead back up to six. 27-21. Redderer stripped from behind by Freiberger, and a foul committed by the senior. Well, that time, the right idea. Uh, Toby Freiberger almost had a clean strip, but he got a piece of the hand, and the officials got it right. Probably not a popular call no. by the Shawnee faithful. Redderer receives the inbound, gives it right back to Metzger. He'll go to the window and drop it home. Oh, what a take there by Nate Metzger. Again, uh, he's more known for his rebounding, but that was a great take to the rim. Freiberger for three off the front iron. Knee camp the board for the Redskins. Quarter races up the near sideline. Shadel for three. Got it. And that makes it a one-point game after the cooking sun three. Uh, great look by Shadow, but what a screen by Metzger to free him up. Freiberger, top of the key to McBride. Four minutes to go as the Redskin faithful make their presence known. Trailing by one at the midway point of this third quarter. McBride fouled. That's going to be the first foul committed by Zach Niekamp. He can't average just 14 points a night. Scoreless so far here through the midway point of the third quarter. Freiberger looks to inbound. Bounces right into McBride. Left elbow, left block, I beg your pardon. McBride now with four. Grows the lead back to three at 29-26. No, that's a big bucket by McBride. That time he got bodied up, and he had the strength to get it off the backboard up and in. Redderer in a tough spot. Bounces to Metzger. Tightly guarded by Dominic Lynch. Dribbles out of it. Jump stops in that short corner. On a baseline. Looking for somebody, anybody in a Metzger Financial Services timeout called by Trey Elkert. We'll take it with him. 3.23 to go here in the third on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. It's a three-point lead for Shawnee, 29-26, Redskin basketball. Out of the Metzger Financial Services timeout. Metzger will inbound. Nate Metzger looking, gets in to Zach Niekamp. Niekamp with just two points so far this evening. Quarter in the high post. Lobs down low to Redderer. Puts it off the window. Can't drop it in. Freiberger in transition to Miller. Triple teamed in the lane off the front iron. Quarter the rebound. Knee camp across the timeline on the right wing. Crosses over. Jump stops to the right block. And a jump ball called. Knee camp, I believe, hit his head off the floor. He'll quickly pop back up. But the possession arrow favors Shawnee. Yeah, tremendous job that time on knee camp. You talked about how what a great job they've done putting the clamps on him tonight. That time he had a path to the rim. 
But uh, that time they got all ball they get to tie up. They had the arrow now they can stretch that lead try to make this a two possession game. <coughs> Freiberger wide open for three off the front iron but the rebound secured by the Indians balls loose stolen away by Wapaw. Nate Metzger rips it away makes it 29 26 I guess the score remains. And we get we got a little blood on the floor here from uh, Zach Niekamp hit his head and popped back up and then we figured out oh you know what we've got a we got a blood issue so he'll take a seat on the bench Caleb Moyer in the ball game for Wapak. Now Lom in the backcourt to Jackson quarter we get back underway with under 230 to go in the third Redskins trail by three from time with that cooking sun three-pointer Metzger hands off the quarter he'll Try just that, it does, and we are all knotted up at 29. Well, there it was. Jackson Quarter once again able to deliver. We have our first tie since the opening tip. Cook and Sons three-pointer ties us at 29. Ball's loose, stolen away by Quarter. It's a race to the window, back the other way, spins, and the foul, my goodness. Oh, no, they'll still call it on the floor. They'll call it on the floor. That's as good as it, and one as you'll see. Unbelievable move. The officials got it right, but certainly not a popular call. I don't know. You, if you can do that, you should get you should get the you should get the continuation. There's got to be some style points right, for that. Yeah, just an unbelievable be move there. And he had the the presence just to get it up off the window. Somehow it went in. Quarter fouled on the inbounds and he'll step to the Allen Davis insurance free throw line. Well, great set on the out of bounds play, and don't look now. But uh, Wapakoneta can take their first lead of the ball game here at the 157 mark of this third quarter. Shawnee hit a three about 10 seconds in. They've led the rest of the way. And now Wapak takes their first lead at 30-29, as Scoop said. Got the advantage at the Allen Davis Insurance free throw line. Allen Davis Insurance is your solutions provider specializing in auto, home, business insurance, and more. Hits them both. Quarter with 18 now and the lead rests with the Redskins. Shawnee will try to respond. Miller, left wing, crosses over, guarded by Redderer in the lane and a blocking foul committed by Wap. Excuse me, Nate Metzger, I believe, is going to be his second. Well, that time Miller just a one on one move. He's able to uh, get a nice sleek uh, crossover dribble, draws the contact. That's going to be the third team foul on the Redskins. McBride holding. He'll lob it in. Miller able to stay in the front court. 140 remains in this first third quarter, I beg your pardon. McBride, top of the key, hands off to Freiberger. He'll walk back out near the midcourt stripe. Guarded by Moyer. Throws right to Miller. Thought about the three. Instead, dribbles past. Brady Gabes for three. No. Miller, the offensive rebound, an easy put back. He's got 15. Well, that time, uh, Wapak whiffed on the checkout of Austin Miller, and that's a huge no-no. Miller just too athletic, and that time uh, he gets a rebound, second chance points. Cash Shadle on the right wing. One minute remaining in this third quarter. Deacon Redderer on the right side. We're all square 31. Hands off to Metzger, free throw line. Kicks in the corner. Moyer, pump faked. Gives it right back to Metzger. 45. Looking for quarter. Gets it there. Back to the basket. On the baseline. Finds Moyer back door. Blocked. Put back by Deacon Redderers up and good. Yeah, great possession. Great find by quarter, although he doesn't get the assist. A credit Wapak. They stay with it. Second chance points. Austin Miller in the lane, and we're all square at 33. I like how Shawnee, in times of stress, they go right to uh, Miller, and that time he delivers again. You let him have it that deep on the block. Uh, that's not good math for your defense. We have the third tie here in the last two minutes. Metzger under 10. Had it poked away. Brings it to the right side. Metzger with five, with three. Turns the corner. Kicks to quarter. Has to let it fly. Good if it goes. It doesn't. And we'll go to the third, fourth, I beg your pardon, all tied at 33. we got a dandy here at Paulding on WOSN.
Instant replays tonight provided by Road State College, a two-year state college offering affordable in-person and online associate's degrees and certificate programs. Wapak trailed after the first quarter 14-2. After three, we're all tied at 33 as this fourth quarter about to get underway. The winner moves on to play Napoleon Friday night. Number six, Shawnee, and number five seeded Wapak. And the Redskins begin to quarter with the basketball. Knee camp hands off to Caleb Moyer, the freshman. Gets in the near corner. They'll bounce to Jackson Quarter. Back to the basket. On the block. Lobs back out to Knee Camp. Puts it up. And Knee Camp has his fourth point of the evening to give the Redskins the 35-33 lead on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Ah, sweet move there by Knee Camp. He was able to get the go with the left hand. A tough shot in traffic. Berkey gives to Miller. Holds, guarded by Metzger. McBride, right wing three, and he's got the lead after the Cook and Sun plumbing and heating three. Now, oh, what an answer that time by McBride. He's able to uh, step back, hit the long three. We have our second lead change here in the last three minutes. Cook and Sun plumbing and heating, specializing in old time service since 1978. Find them on Facebook or call 419 738 8956. And you get a three second violation committed by the Redskins. Boy, that's one of those uh, rear cars you just don't see anymore, but I, I think they got it right. They were camped out there in that backside. And that's a huge break there for Lima Shawnee. They've got a one-point lead, 36-35. One minute gone in this fourth quarter. Pass shown between the circles. Keegan Wilson. Gives to, Pash, or gives to Miller, I beg your pardon. And he'll hold. Wilson. Berkey posted up, wants it, doesn't get it. McBride. Now they'll bounce to Berkey. Poked out of bounds off of Moyer. Yeah, great lockdown defense by Caleb Moyer, the freshman there, trying to, uh, Shawnee trying to get the ball to the short corner there. Great denial defense. McBride look his, looks, bounces into Wilson. Guarded by Moyer, throws right to Pachon. Between the circles, McBride gives back to Berkey. Miller, only Indian on this side of the floor. A lot of arms through that passing lane, doesn't matter. McBride floats one, no. Long rebound chased out, and it goes to Shawnee. Stays with Shawnee. Yeah, great help defense that time by the Redskins. That time Miller isolated, had a clear out there on the uh, weak side. And he's able to make a nice, strong move to the paint, but you saw the cavalry come over. 6.06 to go. Still a one-point lead for Shawnee on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Fryberger throws right to McBride. He'll hold, bounces to Miller. Surveys, tries to get it to Berkey. Out of bounds off of Moyer once more. Yeah, once again, Moyer doing everything he can to, to try to come up with a steal. He gets another deflection. Shawnee will maintain possession. They get it in a far corner to McBride. Back to Miller. Lynch. Hands to Freiberger. McBride looking for a little bit of room to work. Hands off to Freiberger. Free throw line. Gives to Miller for three. No. Rebound, though, ripped down by Beckett Berkey, right back to Miller. And a travel against the senior. Well, that's unfortunate because uh, Beckett Berkey came down with a big time yeah. offensive rebound and then a kick out, but uh, turnover by Shawnee. And now Wapakoneta with another chance to retake the lead here. Quarter, knee camp, Metzger, Moyer on the floor. And Redderer for Wapak as Moyer brings the ball up the floor. Guarded by Bertke. Angles to his left and reverses. Bounces to Metzger. Nearly stolen away by the Indians. And a Metzger Financial Services timeout. Called by Wapak. 5.09 to go. We'll step aside as well. One point lead for Shawnee here on WOSN.
High School Basketball tonight brought to you by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area. They've been serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this home. Just over five minutes remaining. One point lead for the Shawnee Indians. Wapak basketball here on the front court. Nate Metzger gets in the back court to Jackson Quarter. 6'5", senior, having a spectacular game. He's got 18 points. Got his defender on the ground, but he picked up the dribble, gets rid of it to Metzger. He'll give the cross-court pass to Niekamp. Goes right to the bucket, the scoop shot up and good by the junior. Give him six points, and the lead now rests with the Redskins. Oh, beautiful move by Niekamp that time. Great floor spacing, great ball movement by the Redskins. Niekamp recognized the uh, over-aggressive closeout. He took immediately to the rack. What a great finish with the right hand. Freiberger off the screen, lost it. Foul committed by Wapak. Goes against Quarter, his third. 4.33 remaining <laughs> on the least famous recipe scoreboard. Caleb Moyer comes back in a game. Deacon Renner will come out. Will McBride back in a game as well. Austin Miller on the floor for Shawnee once more. Freiberger looks to inbound. Miller. McBride works right. Heels on the center circle. Back to Dominic Lynch. Miller, patient at 420. They get it right back to Miller. He'll go up and slam it all. Austin Miller, 19 on the dunk off the screen. Throws the lead to one, 38-37. Uh, great execution on the elevator screen, and you saw the nice curl move and the nice uh, dunk there by Miller. And we have our fifth lead change here in the last five minutes. Metzger works to his left. Fouled by Freiberger. His second. That's the fifth foul committed by the Indians here in the second half. Ratterer comes back in. Caleb Moyer will take another seat on the bench. Moyer, a 6'1 freshman. Metzger on the sideline. Quarter somehow corrals it in the front court. It's Cash Shadle. Gives right back to Quarter. Senior in the short corner. Nearly had it stolen away, and he commits the foul his fourth. Just a frustration foul there by Jackson Quarter. His pass got tipped. Commits the foul. And yep. That's a reaction you see a lot of times after you kind of you're kicking yourself for making that pass. But credit Dominic Lynch. He did an excellent job anticipating that pass. Got his hands up quickly, was able to tip it, corral it. And now a big opportunity for Shawnee trying to stretch this uh, one-point margin. 38-37. On the least famous recipe scoreboard. Lynch bounces. Bertke on the right wing. Guarded by Redderer. Spins. Left hand floater. Yes. Back at Bertke's first field goal of the game. Throws the lead to four. It's 40 37 as we approach three minutes remaining in this sectional semifinal. Uh, what a clutch move by the freshman. Bertke in traffic with the left hand. Knee camp tightly guarded by McBride. Picked up the dribble. Hands off to Metzger. Neekamp gets it right back. Guarded by McBride. Bounces to Metzger. Shadle, right wing. Lobs to Redderer. Double teamed on the block. Kicks to Metzger. Wide open for three. Bang! Nate Metzger, a big Cook and Son three-pointer. Ties us at 40. Metzger Financial Services timeout will step aside as well. 2.41 remains in regulation here on WOSN. Out of the timeout, Nate Metzger's first three-pointer of the season has tied us at 40. 
Three-pointer tonight brought to you by Cook & Son Plumbing and Heating, specializing in old-time service since 1978. Find them on Facebook or call 419-738-8956. So we are all knotted up at 40. Austin Miller, right wing, guarded by Redderer, steps back into that far corner. Now drives baseline, fouled by the 6'7 senior, his second. And that's the fifth foul. Excuse me, the sixth foul. Sixth foul committed by Wapak. So the next one sends Shawnee to the line. And on the flip side, uh, Shawnee has one foul to give here in the final 222. Will McBride will inbound. Moyer will face guard. Bounces to Miller along the far sideline. All squared 40 on the Leafs Famous Recipe scoreboard. McBride, right wing. Guarded by Moyer. Gives to Miller. Lynch. Freiberger. Token double team. Indians will work it around the perimeter with two minutes to go. Miller keeps the dribble alive. It spins in the lane. Scoop shot is up and good. And a Metzger Financial Services timeout. Mark Triplett not happy with the official along the far sideline. Trying to get that Metzger Financial Services timeout called. The official along the near sideline had to give it to him. So that is a full timeout. We'll step aside as well. 42-40 to score here in the fourth quarter on WOSN. Free throws tonight brought to you by Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider, specializing in auto, home, business insurance, and more. 152 to go on the least famous recipe scoreboard. 42-40, Shawnee the lead. Wampok basketball. Quarter guarded by Dominic Lynch in the backcourt. Directing traffic as he crosses the timeline. Bounces to Metzger through his wickets. Ball's loose, and it's in the hands of an Indian. Hill get the Metzger Financial Services timeout. So 137 to go. An unfortunate turnover there by the Wapak Redskins. We'll keep it here. But the Indians have a two-point lead. Instant replays tonight have been provided by Road State College, a two-year state college offering affordable in-person and online associate degrees and certificate programs. So 42-40. So we are... About a minute 45 away from the conclusion of this thing, Scoop. And when you take a look at one, just Wapak's ability to climb back into this game. They trailed 14-2 after one, 32-17 at the halftime break, and then tied it up at 33-all. Or excuse me, 22-17 at the halftime break, and then 33-all after three. Wapak's ability to even get back in this game has been admirable. Yeah, well, both these teams are so well coached, so you knew it was a matter of time, but uh, certainly uh, credit uh, Coach Trey Elkert for making some good in-game adjustments, but you can say the same about Mark Triplett. You know, those two, middle two quarters belong to Wapakoneta as they outscored Shawnee 31-19, but uh, Coach Triplett's been around as well. You know, he made some good adjustments here. We've had an exciting finish. This is exactly the type of game I think we yeah. all expected coming in. Austin Miller also being quite assertive for Shawnee. 21 points every time they've needed a bucket, they've been able to go to him, and he's been old faithful. Yeah, he really has. He's not just an All-American uh, soccer player. He's an excellent basketball player Absolutely. as well, and uh, they've needed him tonight. He's come up big here. He'll hold it above his head now. Gives to McBride. Under 90 seconds to go. Miller, right side of the lane, guarded by Metzger. Baseline, up and under, fouled, and Austin Miller will shoot two Allen Davis insurance free throws. Well, that's that same play they ran a few minutes ago. We were able to uh, get uh, Miller freed up for layup. That time, Mesker did a great job of kind of bodying up, reroute Miller away, but Miller just too good when he gets the ball deep. That time, he just uses athleticism, draws the contact. Now he's got a chance to make this a two-possession game. His first free throw is good. Our scoreboard tonight presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Miller hits them both. He's got 23. 
and it's 44-40. Last time these two teams played in earlier this year, Wapak won 56-54, ball out of play, off the Redskins. A costly, another costly turnover there for Wapak. Yeah, and credit to Shawnee. That time, uh, they're trying to go with the straight line drive, and they did a great job of not really trying to reach in and bail them out. And that's a tough uh, turnover at a tough time. So right now, Shawnee needs to execute. Indians with the basketball. McBride across the timeline. Picks up the dribble in a tough spot. Bounces out of it. Lynch. Freiberger at the left wing, poked from behind by Kneekamp. And that will send the Indians to the front end of the one and one And I believe that's going to send, uh, I thought it was Freiberger. Yeah, I believe yeah, Freiberger is going to step to the line. And Freiberger, an 82% free throw shooter, so credit to Shawnee. They got the ball to the right guy. But now you have to come up big here in crunch time. Freiberger's first up and good. He makes the Allen Davis Insurance free throw. Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider, specializing in auto, home, business insurance, and more. A yeah, great job right now by Shawnee. They've scored the last five points after we were tied at 40. That one rims out. Great checkout by Jackson Quarter. 45-40. Redskins have turned it over a couple of times. Looking for a bucket. Knee camp in the lane. Fires one off the backboard. No. Got his own offensive rebound. Kicks back out to quarter for three. No. Moyer the rebound. Shadle. Knee camp for three. Left it short. Long rebound. Miller comes out with it. Tries to get rid of it. Does. Under 25 seconds to go. And Will McBride will try to go to the line to ice this one away. And what a smart play by Will McBride. He comes in the leading free throw shooter for Shawnee. So once he got that pass from Miller, he was not going to give that up. Remember, there's no five count in the backcourt. He's going to take some time off the clock, but he knew he was going to get fouled. And this will be the last one of one here for Shawnee. McBride got it. Well, that's awfully big. It's still just a two possession game, but now that's going to force Walpock to have to go for a couple threes. This free throw right here can make it a three possession game. Got both of them from the Allen Davis Insurance free throw line. Redskins up the far sideline at knee camp. Had it poked away by Austin Miller. Ball's loose. Miller in the lane, stripped. McBride with 10, still hasn't been fouled. Bounces out of it to Freiberger. Gets rid of it to Lynch. They'll play keep away with five seconds, and that'll do it. Shawnee got out to an early lead, defended a Wapak charge, and the Shawnee Indians are moving on to the sectional finals for a 47-40 victory over the Wapak Redskins. Uh, impressive win tonight for Shawnee. They had to go the entire distance, but they came up big and crunch time scored the last seven points of the ball game. And that speaks a lot, especially when Wapak coming in were eight and three in games decided by single digits. But uh, Shawnee a little bit better down the stretch tonight, and they will move on. Tonight's premier sponsor has been Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this home. 47-40. Shawnee moving on behind 23 points from Austin Miller. Meanwhile, for Wapak, their season ends at 12 and 11. Jackson Quarter, 18 points in the loss. But that'll do it from here for this all-Western Buckeye League sectional final, sectional Wednesday night. The first game, Salina victorious over Bath. They'll move on to play Defiance. Meanwhile, Shawnee will take on Napoleon in the sectional finals. Those two met a season ago in the district semifinals. But a 47-40 win for the Shawnee Indians tonight. Uh, really, their uh, ability to fight through that adversity. They got to a 14-2 lead in the first quarter and uh, were tied after three. But to pull away there at the end when they when it mattered most, uh, it's a, a spectacular performance there in that fourth quarter by the Indians. It really was. You know, they were able to hold Wapakoneta just seven points in that fourth quarter after Wapakoneta did so many things well in that second 
the third quarter. They had all that momentum on their side. They were really executing at a high level, but Shawnee just really stepped up when it got crunch time. We had several lead changes in that fourth quarter. We had multiple ties, but uh, Shawnee advances on, and they've had some great tournament runs in recent years, as we all know. Oh, absolutely. The Indians lost 6-9 at nine coming into the tournament. They win the first one, and they move on to play Napoleon on Friday night. So that'll do it from here at Paulding High School. We'll uh, catch you next time for our fantastic WOSN crew, Megan Mia and Scoop Miller. I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long here on WOSN.